Alright, so this is uh, Terabag Gamers here. I'm about to show you how to do the uh, Cecilla Steps ga mini game on Runes of Magic. Basically, just to get the uh, Furious Shells for buying the Crimson Stats that you can get in both Varanus and Delanus. Alright, so I talked to Cat Rojo at, in uh, Varanus. She's standing by the mailbox next to the auction house. So. Now I'm going to talk to Andrasa, and I'd like to challenge. I am ready. Let's go. Wishing me luck. You know, that totally looks like an Eye of the Beholder thing from old game. Anyways, who cares? Alright, so you talk to this guy, right? Say, I'm prepared. Because, you know, of course I am. I'm always prepared. Hand over my 30 Furious token coins. And he will give you 10 minutes and this new action bar. All of your skills will be uh, disabled inside this. So you can only rely on these four skills you have. Plus, you can get other skills, but due to the fact that I'm just trying to show you how to quickly do this, we won't be doing that. Alright. So basically, what you'll want to do is use purifying candlesticks, then... Uh, cast timer. Alright. You'll want to avoid these guys. So, purifying candlesticks will let you use them on these to remove the barriers. Then, the goal is... Let me just stealth here. Don't want to accidentally aggro him. Oh. And this guide is mainly meant for the people that aren't level capped at 67. Because that is the cap as of the video. Because once you're 67, you can run right through here and you won't aggro onto any mobs. Alright, so let's leave this room. Ah! I thought I aggroed him. Alright. So if you do accidentally aggro something, you can use Feign Death, which... It takes a little while, but you're able to... Uh, get out of combat so they stop chasing you. Oh, that was easy. Alright, well, the thing is, you have to find these two elemental candlesticks in these rooms. For me, it was very easy. So... Let me just go through here. I will stealth. Just so I don't aggro onto these. I have to... Oh, just so this dog doesn't give me away. I will use my snipe ability. It has a 2 minute cooldown, so... Only use them on the dogs, because they can sniff out you even if you're uh, stealthed. Alright. So. Let's go through here. Use this another dog okay so there's two candlesticks throughout the thing then there's a third one always in this room it is over there so let's head over there then you will once you uh, light all three because that is the goal of this game see the text there tells you that the treasure room has been opened I usually just stand here for another minute or not minute but you know a few more seconds that way all these mobs around me despawn they despawn when you get this uh, message right here. So now I'm free to run without having to worry about anything attacking me. Note though it only despawns them in this room. So everything outside the room, it will still be there. See? Okay, goes right there. Oh crap. I thought I aggroed. Alright, so that was the game. Then you can open up all of these. These can give you a mount, but since I'm really not interested in it, I'm not going to do it. The mount is this one right here. Oh, also, you can get the infernal one. There are two mounts you can get from here, just to clarify. Now, I usually open up these, and you saw me switch uh, chat like tabs, just to show you what I get. You get 30 furious uh, shells for th this minigame. Now, you need 200 shells to buy a crimson stat. You can get a total of 160 per day doing all four minigames. You used to only have to get 120, but due to the latest patch, which literally happened yesterday as of this video, they upped it to 200. Not a big deal, but, you know, whatever. Alright, those were pretty bad runes that I got, but you can only get tier 1 and tier 2 runes, so it really doesn't matter. Alright, um, I'm not really interested in anything else. 
but I will open these up just in case I can get some Furious Tokens back, which will allow me to run all my mini games. you know, because you would normally only get 100 Furious Tokens per day for the 10 dailies, but you can get tokens back to run the mini games through chess, which, you know, it's always nice to get them. Also, oopsie, five tokens. But these magic grasses and all these uh, uh, materials, well, not really materials because they can only be used for guild contributions, they give 100 each. So, so far I've gotten uh, 900 uh, herb mats for my guild. Though it doesn't really help since my guild kind of is at max level right now. But you know, doesn't matter, still works, still helpful. Once they increase the level that guilds can get to, you know, they will be needed. Alright, so you see I already got 10 tokens back, so really I only paid 20 tokens to play this minigame, which is nice. Alright, so, well, pretty much done now, so I'm going to port out of here. Very easy mini game. once you get the hang of it. I hope I answered any questions for any new players that might be looking to try and do this mini game. If not, leave your questions in the comments below, and I will try and get back to you on them. Alright, 